Hey guys, so this is the Sugar Pails Heartbreaker palette tutorial. I use all four colors and I absolutely love how it came out. I am a little under the weather, so please bear with me with um, the way my voice sounds. So let's get started. First and foremost, I use the eye primer from Micah Beauty Cosmetics and I'm using it all the way to the brow bone, just blending it out entirely on my lid with my finger. And then I'm going in with uh, Urban Decay's Cream Shadow. And I believe these are discontinued. I bought them uh, several years ago online. Um, I will put the description link of the color at the bottom in the description bar because I'm not too sure what the color is at this moment. But I'm just putting that as a, all over the lid for an eyeshadow base as well. And there's the Heartbreaker palette. The first one is the purple and then I'm just putting that into my crease line and I'm just blending it in I really want this color packed on so you can see several times I do dip into the product for more of it and I just keep on checking back if it you know looks really well Um, I am laughing and I'm actually having a conversation with my cousin. She is sitting on the bed in the background. You can't see her because she's off to the side. But me and her are just talking about the storm. So now we're going in with that royal blue color. Like I said, I don't have the palette in front of me. But in the description bar, I will link all the colors and list everything that I use. So the blue is just going to go in the inner corner, meeting the purple halfway onto my lid and I'm blending those two colors together like I said I love this look I love the way it turned out I, I think all these colors are amazing that is the sweetheart palette and I'm using taco it's a really nice matte white just using that on the brow bone and blending that into the purple and blue So now we're going in with that really soft, reminds me of like a Tiffany blue. I'm putting that on the lower lid. I'm just packing that on really good and that's going to go ahead and meet up with the purple and the blue. So blending is key when blending several colors together. And there's the fluffy blending brush because we do not want any harsh lines. We want it to blend flawlessly so that's what I'm doing windshield wiper motion as always or circular motion and usually from blending it does take away a little bit of the color so there's no harm in going back over if you need the color just to be a little more intensified and that's what I'm doing with the purple intense and using more intensity in that color and then going back over and blending like I said you do not want any harsh lines so we're just taking a little more of that Urban Decay Cream Shadow and just putting it on the lower lash line I'm taking the last color of the palette, which is that really pretty lime green. I'm just packing that on the lower lash line. And that base is going to really make the color pop and last all day. And it did. I had a hard time taking it off with my makeup wipes later on that night. And that is NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean. Just lining my waterline with it. And that is Royal Sugar from Sugar Pills Chromalux. And I'm using Eye Candy Cosmetics Liquid Sugar. And what I am doing is making my own eyeliner. Mixing the two products together. 
with a small fine eyeliner brush just mixing that product till it gets to a creamy consistency and as you'll see right here it really makes a nice eyeliner it really makes this look pop and it adds more definition to the look I absolutely love it I've been for the past several weeks obsessing over making my own eyeliners with any loose pigments and pretty much with a mixing medium or I've used Visine eye drops that seem to work as well but I have several bottles of this liquid sugar so I'm just using that and it works wonders going in with Maybelline plush do a couple coats of that mascara and then a couple coats of soft spots and both of them are in black and like I said as always false lashes are optional but this day when I was recording I was really feeling not the same and I knew I was coming down with a cold sure enough I did and that's the look. And that's going to be the completed look if you follow each of my steps. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys like it. See you in my next tutorial.